So next on our agenda, we have a group of two students, two open lab students actually, presenting their work. So the first speaker is Damla Gozuk. Uh, she is a 21 year old computer scientist from Turkey, recently graduated from Sabancı University in Istanbul. Here at CERN, she's working with the Biodynamo team on benchmarking and testing as an open lab summer student. She's mostly interested in computer security and cryptography. She would like to be part of the CERN fellowship program in the future. And together with her is Hassan Ahmed. Uh, Hassan Ahmed is a 21 year old Pakistani computer scientist who recently graduated from Fast Nukes uh, Karachi. He has always loved mathematics and now he aims to pursue a career in data science, deep learning applications and research. He has been working with Biodynamo team on streamlining their uh, build process using doctor containers as an open lab summer student. So thank you very much to both of you. I will now stop sharing my screen and uh, you, can, uh, you can start your presentation. Well, thank you, Anna, for your presentation. I shared my screen. Yeah. We don't see your screen yet. Um, can you see it now? Yes, now it's perfect. Thank you very okay. much. Okay, perfect. So, hello, everybody. I'm Dama Gözük, and today I and my colleague Hassan Ahmed are going to present and explain our project here at CERN in the Biotinoma team. So, first, we will talk about the purpose of the project, why it's important and how the idea emerged. Then we will continue with the features, design and some properties of the Biodynamo. So what is Biodynamo? Biodynamo is an open source, high performance and modular agent-based simulation platform. How the idea of the Biodynamo emerged? Currently, most of the biological demos are made with in silico simulations. After slowing down more slow and ending then at scaling, is silico simulations losses effectiveness in terms of usage of the hardware, which results in compromising either on the resolution of the model or on simulation size. Additionally, these simulations are made for specific use purposes for each case. To change the main software from one to another, it's very challenging and creates a buggy implementation design. And hence, Biodynamo is shaped to tackle those problems in a scientific research. Biodynamo has five system properties. It's agent-based, agents are modeled as discrete objects and perform actions based on their current state, behavior, and environment. The picture on the right shows the agent simulation concepts of Biodynamo. In section A, they have their geometry, in B, they have their behavior, and in C, they have their environment. In section D, we can see a simple simulation algorithm, which we can divide into two main parts, definition of the initial model and execution of the simulation. It's a general purpose platform. Instead of specializing in a single case, it can simulate various of cases in different fields and does this in a both modular and extensible way. It's a large scale model support. Since biological systems consist of a large number of agents, the cerebral cortex, for example, has approximately 16 billion neurons. Biodynamo is designed to overcome the limitations of scaling up the simulations with its modern hardware usage and memory efficiency. It's easily programmable, it provides common functionalities, and it has a modular and extensible design, and its quality is assured, which Biodynamo has over 280 automated tests, which are continuously executed on all supported operating systems to ensure high quality coding. Now I will briefly talk about neuroscience and cell clustering use cases of Biodynamo. The first example illustrates the use of Biodynamo to model neural growth of pyramidal cells using chemical cues. With the provided measurement of pyramidal cells and dendrites in 3D space and some mathematical equations along with Gaussian distribution, we are able to follow the growth of pyramidal cells and simulate them. Section A in the figure shows the model of a straight long apical dendrite with a simple branching pattern. Section B is a real pyramidal cell morphology. By using our growth model, we were able to generate a large number of various realistic pyramidal cell morphologies. And in section C, we can see a large scale simulation incorporating 5,000 neurons, which can be beneficial for development, anatomical and connectivity studies in the brain. 
This simulation contained 9 million agents, and the top section of the video demonstrates this mass of neurons. Sectionally, in the figure shows the data between the comparison of the real version and the simulated version. So in our second example, we will observe the use of Biodynamo to cluster two types of cells that are initially randomly distributed, which are represented in red and blue in figures four and five, and also in the video. Each cell secretes a substance and moves in the direction of the substance gradient. In figure four, section A is the beginning where cells are distributed randomly. Section B shows the cell clusters form depend depending on their type after 6,000 steps. Section C indicates the cell clusters at the end of the simulation, and the steps are time lapse demonstrated in the video, as you can see. And in figure five, we see the cell clustering cross section. Cell positions overlap with regions of high substance concentration. The first row of the first row showed substance concentration and cells, and the second row in the figure showed the substance concentration only. And from now on, uh, my colleague will continue explaining you some results and discussions. Uh, thank you, Damla. So I'm going to discuss the results and discussions about Biodynamo compared to other 3D-based simulation agents. One such agent is Cortex-3D. So Biodynamo is more than three orders of magnitude faster than Cortex-3D. With enough memory, Biodynamo is capable of supporting hundreds of billions of agents. Uh, so in the figure, uh, a section A, we can see that the speed of a biodynamo compared to uh, Cortex 3D, we can see that it has an improvement of around 60% uh, compared to Cortex 3D's cell growth and division simulations. And uh, in the uh, subsequent figure B, we can see that uh, biodynamo is scalable. On, so we tested this on by the biodynamo team tested on a server with 72 physical cores and two threads per core and four NEMA domains. And this basically indicates uh, that Biodynamo is a very scalable compared on a large number of agents. Uh, so this allows for uh, that to that allows researchers to develop better computational biological models, better simulation models that uh, can contain billions of agents on a single server. Uh, next slide, please, Amla. Yes, so yeah. now I will talk about briefly my work in Biodynamo. It's mainly consists on benchmarking, which is highly important because it allows us to test the code performance and monitor the effect of the changes. It allows us to observe the project speed, memory usage, and hardware efficiency. The root system is created at CERN and it's used for data analysis. And the root team has its own benchmarking system called RootBench. Biodynamo team inspired by the root bench and we visualize our data with Grafana. It uh, allows us to collect data from numerous sources and share data between all the team members. Also the benchmarking we are doing is uh, mainly mixed with, uh, it's similar to Google benchmarking. And uh, now uh, Hassan will present his work at mm -hmm. CERN. Thank you, Langa. Uh, so my work is basically concerned with making Biodynamo more accessible to everyone. Uh, currently, uh, Biodynamo requires a lot of prerequisite dependencies that needs to be installed before any researcher or developer can basically use Biodynamo to uh, make his simulations. So what we are trying to do is basically uh, we have made pre-built containers of Biodynamo available on Docker Hub that can be pulled by any developer or researcher that wishes to use Biodynamo. So these are pre-built containers, all the dependencies and all the uh, prerequisite code that is needed for to run and execute biodynamic simulation is already present in the container. Anyone can just download them and you know start uh, executing the code. We are, are now have se several example notebooks present on the biodynamic website. These notebooks can be executed in the browser using MyBinder. Uh, this is, is a website that basically uh, uses our pre-built containers and executes the node notebooks. So this process is basically done through GitHub Actions. Every time there's a uh, we re, the Biodynamo team makes a new release for Bio uh, and pushes it onto GitHub. GitHub Actions basically builds the container, uh, latest container, and pushes into the Docker Hub that can be accessible by everyone. So that's my part in as a summer student. And uh, thank you for uh, listening to our presentation. Uh, here are some links to the Biodynamo website and the preprint version of the Biodynamo paper. Uh, which we have discussed uh, earlier as Damla discussed uh, is, uh, is present here. 
Thank you for listening. Thank you very much to both of you. Very nice presentation. Uh, let's hear some questions. There must be some. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I, I, I have a question. Yes, so, um, so being specialized in complex biological systems and being one of, able to modify parameters on the age and the behavior and the environment, etc., could biodynamo also be used to model virus spreading, for instance, like COVID? Uh, um, yes, there is actually. Uh, that there were actually works on that. Um, it the agents were changed to healthy people and not healthy people, and the people that um, had COVID and now they are um, they are health back again. And it simulates by these three agents, as I know, and it it simulates the spread of the virus from not healthy people to healthy people, and then it shows how they gain back their health. So it's also used for COVID cases, which I think there is an online source for that in the web. In the web. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Ahmed, you also had a question, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, uh, hi. Uh, maybe you mentioned this. I just want to ask uh, which programming language is uh, the Biodynamo software implemented in? So most of the base code is written in C++, uh, which is uh, the root subsystem, the data analysis framework is written in C++, yeah. Thank you very much. Anyone else with questions, comments? It looks like everything was clear. Okay, in that case, thank you very much to both of you for this very nice presentation and for sharing your work with us. And so I'll stop sharing now. So thank yeah. you for the opportunity. No yeah. problem. Thank you, Anna.